on uh, today's first episode. of the series, we are going to talk about, I'm going to talk about Caitlin Bennett and how she's been doing within the past ye- ye- almost a year now. Since before the pandemic began, she's been pretty much an evil person who is known as the Kent State Gungo, who is an American gun rights activist, conspiracy theorist, and a quote unquote conservative social media personality. She received media attention back two years ago for open for an open carrying an AR ten rifle at Kent State University after she graduated. And uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the videos that she is appearing is, is like apparently the most stupidest brain dead person on the planet. So will she get a call for Christmas? Let's find out now. Dear Black Lives Matter, I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed to be white. I am not ashamed to be a conservative. I am not ashamed to support our president, and I am not ashamed to support our country. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed to be a Christian. I am not ashamed to believe in traditional marriage. And I am not ashamed to believe God made men to be men and women to be women. I will not apologize for the color of my skin. I refuse to feel guilty for things I have never done. I refuse to be told that I need to feel sorry for crimes that I have not committed. I have done nothing to you and have nothing to be sorry for. I will not virtue signal to you, and I will not sympathize with you. I am Caitlin Bennett, and I am only responsible for my own actions. I will not apologize for believing in Jesus Christ. I will not apologize for calling him my Lord. I believe that Jesus suffered for our sake so that we may have life. I am nothing without the Holy Trinity, and the only one I will apologize to is the Lord for my sins. I will not sympathize with your hatred of God and will instead pray for your soul. I will not apologize for being a conservative. I will not apologize for supporting the nuclear family, for supporting traditional gender roles, and for supporting Western values. I will not apologize for supporting free speech, the free market, and the right to self-defense. You want to take these things away from me, and therefore I feel no sympathy towards you. I believe in freedom and have nothing to feel sorry for. I will not apologize for believing a marriage is between one man and one woman. I believe that raising children is necessary for passing down the truth to future generations, and they need to be raised by a mother and a father to do so. I will not sympathize with your hatred for the nuclear family and do not feel sorry for entering into a loving marriage with my wife. I will not apologize for supporting my president. I voted for Donald Trump in 2016 and will vote for him again in 2020. This does not make me hateful and does not mean I don't value your life. I support President Trump because I love my country. I love my family and I love my neighbors. I support President Trump because President Trump supports me and he supports you too. I will not sympathize with your hatred for President Trump and do not feel sorry for voting for him. I will not apologize for attending church. I believe that entering God's home each week and receiving the Eucharist is essential for- Okay. Um. Yeah, the fact that she said that she will not apologize for 
for not supporting Black Lives Matter and for voting for Donald Trump is is one of the reasons why that she is this close to be getting a coal on her stocking in this video. Let's take a look at other videos, shall we? Here we have is another video of Kate of Caitlin Bennett and Liberty Hangout doing dumb shit. Remember February? Because Caitlin Bennett went to Ohio University, who is definitely trespassing at that time, which is why people who originally deserve to be in this college, who actually enrolled to be here, have the right to protest her off the property because she was causing a disturbance of her hooligans that she brought with that she brought with to protect her for a pussy reason. No, it's not it's, uh, he's the fifth. Thank you, Erica. I just gave you part of the answer. Oh, John Adams. Yep, yep, one more. You said he was elected twice. Oh, uh, never mind. It's the 22nd Amendment. Um, third one. Was it, was it a Thomas? Yes, it was. Jefferson? Good yes, job. you got him. All okay, three. no, we're not done. We're not done. Okay. Your hair looks great, I'm Ooh, sure. Not. You do need a haircut. Whoa. You said you do. I'm just agreeing with you. Okay, uh, I have one question for you. Well, hold on, hold on. I'll ask no, you a no, question. No, it's, no, it's just for you. you it's, no, I'll yeah. ask you trivia, then you can ask me trivia. I gotta do first. Right? No, mm -mm, that's not how this works. Sure. I'll answer your trivia if you answer my trivia. Name one bar on OU's campus. Just one. I don't know because I don't drink. I don't. I don't go to bars. I'm not even from here. I'm not a Republican. She's a libertarian. Um, probably like a conservative. Not a not a Republican, but no, I don't drink. <laughs> nope. Okay, who's next? Did you just call her a racist? I'll answer one more question. I'll answer one more question. You called me a racist? Yeah, I am. What have I said that's racist? Lots of very, very bad things. Just one thing. Just one thing. You guys think she's racist? Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, everybody agrees. Give me one thing I've said or done that's racist. Well, that's who we're talking about. No, I don't that's, that's... Well, I'm asking her. She accused me of being racist. I do want to know one thing I've said that's racist. I would like, I would like to hear her. Do you, you called me racist. What's one thing I've said that's racist? Do you, do, have you heard that? Do you let this always happens. go in any bathroom they want to? No. Why not? Because I think that's a dangerous precedent to let men in the women's restroom. I don't think that's appropriate. But what if that's not the gender you were assigned to at birth? That, well, unfortunately, a lot of college students don't know this, but you were born with the gender that you were born with. That's just how it is. So are you a scientist? Well, right. Like, like, come on. There is Would you say that race or, or gender is more no. important in terms of I how you interact with people? I think that both no, are equally so, important. So if I identify as a white person, should I get the same treatment as a white person? I think you should get the same treatment regardless of your race or your gender. Well, I've always thought white privilege was a thing. Should he be given white I, Yeah, privilege? if I identify as a white person, I do I then white, get white privilege? White privilege is a thing. I didn't say it wasn't. So, so I identify as white. Do I now have white privilege? No, you have privilege as a human. No matter what your gender and what your race, bottom line. Bottom line, no matter what your race or what your gender. I'm not saying white privilege doesn't exist, but you can't argue with me that you should get equal privileges as a human, no matter what your race or your gender is. Thank you. So I guess if you, oh wait, she just walked away. <laughs> this part here in the last three to four minutes shows that the students at Ohio University
is recording everything while they are trying to get Caitlyn Ben to leave their university because she trespassed. And also, a few minutes to the end, they get pummeled with lots of beverages which which in my opinion uh, which in my opinion the last video I made about this um doesn't mean that you immediately get hurt by a beverage I've been in Caitlyn Bennett saying that it does. It really doesn't. So I'll play you the clip now. side screen terrible editing from one of her editors is not physically assaulted plus you were trespassing in a private facility which you do not belong to you also have no business trying to think that you are in the right. The police didn't help you because you were trespassing. And that is the reason why they didn't help you escape safely. 
This is the student's campuses, not yours. You didn't apply to Ohio University, did you? No, you already graduated, so why bother coming to a university and antagonize the students? Why bother the students in the first place? I mean, seriously, Kate Event. Your credibility is so low that you're really this close to be getting a call on your stocking right now. Like seriously, this is not funny. You're really this close. Three days ago, and those students ended up changing their mind about me and they were very peaceful. They all wanted pictures with me. We come to the most liberal university in Ohio, and that's how we're treated. Let that go to show what is going on on these liberal universities. Okay, what sucks is that they say, like, I'm a racist. I was there with Joel. Well, no, they separated me from you. Yeah. I didn't even know where you guys went. And For the record, Caitlin Bennett is a racist. And the fact that she lied again makes me think that eventually I will give her a call on her stocking. And then, like, I had a, a there was the group of people that was around me were, like, really peaceful. I don't know why, like, the police just allowed them to just, like, act like an angry mob. And I feel like if, they were rioting. They wouldn't have backed off from the truck if we hadn't had the train horn. Because they were, like, just, like, pushing on the sides of the truck, like, not even letting us leave. That was the so, blue insane. campus. That's that, why. That, that was just insane. That was just so many liberals in one spot. That's never happened before. I will be back. Oh, I will be back. They think that they can bully me off the of campus. That's not gonna fucking happen. That shit pisses me off. And it should piss all of you off that watch this. People that have your opinions, your opinions, what okay. you're watching right now, they would do the exact same thing to you on campus if they knew your opinions. Keep that in mind. That's what the liberals do. The only reason you don't get attacked is because they don't know your opinions, but they know mine. They know my opinions. They lie about my opinions. That's why they did this. And let the left the leftists as you call them do not lie about your opinions because your opinions are are actually the way that you spoke about you spoke in a way that is really racist and misogynistic which is why people from the left attack you. And if you don't stop lying, Caitlin Bennett, you're gonna get yours. And let it represent every single one of you watching, every single one of you that support me, they would do this exact same thing to you. If you guys enjoy this video, be sure to like and share Love for me, they can't even contain it. This week, we went to the University of Akron to see if anyone would take a black Trump supporter on a Valentine's Day. And we were immediately greeted with a warm Hi. welcome. Would you go on a Valentine's date with my friend Joel Patrick? Uh, no, I won't. Why? I don't like you, and I, if he's friends with you, I probably don't like him either. You don't know who he is. Well, guilt by association. What did you do? I don't know. It's Black History Month. Are you going to...